Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the wonderful Cicada Club. Thank you very much. The Doom on Television Network presents a night at the Cicada Club, broadcast live across the nation and around the world by the modern miracle of electronic television. Presenting a torrent of top talent and tunes directly into your home from Maxwell de Mills Cicada Club here at the Art Deco Oviat Building in beautiful downtown Los Angeles, California. Tonight, it's the Johnny Holiday Program featuring more stars than there are in heaven and starring Johnny Holiday, the handsomest man in the world. <laughs> Mr. Holiday is joined by his special guest, Tony Elizabeth Prima. Robert Picardo, Emily Burgill, Ginger Polly, Jennifer Keith, Christine Nelson, Shannon Fryer, the Lindy Sisters, and yours truly, Conrad Montebank. Well, thank you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a man who's more popular than a pound of liver at a cat show. Your master of ceremonies, Mr. Maxwell Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. This is Maxwell DeMille talking. Here to welcome you to the fabulous Cicada Club. Thank you, both of you. And They're simply, here. thank you, sir. They're simply stunned into awed silence. Hey folks, that's Dean Mora and the Melody Boys. And look who's back, it's Conrad Montebank. Hello! Now Conrad Montebank has been absent for many, many months here at the Cicada Club, and I'm sure he's got a wonderful reason why. And tell us, Conrad, where have you been all these months? Well, as you know, my announcer duties take me all over the world, and recently I've been in beautiful Down Under Australia. That's because they've got the largest penal institution in Australia, ladies and gentlemen. And that's where Mr. Conrad Montebank has been vacationing. That's true, but I was recently smuggled out by, in the pocket of a kangaroo that was recently shipped to the New Brunswick Zoo. And I believe that kangaroo was pregnant and you had company in that pouch. That's true. That's true. We're Conrad's still pen pals. half-brother from down under. The kangaroo man from Brisbane. On that note, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> we totally killed any momentum there might have been. So it's time to get this show on the road. What do well, you say? Well, people love extemporaneous ad living. I'll say it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the Johnny Holiday Program. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, direct from the makeup room in Forest Lawn, brought to you by means of the mortician's art. Here he is, the audio animatronic himself, Mr. Johnny Holiday. Where the blue of the night Meets the gold of the day. Someone waits for me, and the gold of her hair crowns the blue of her eyes like. 
like a halo tenderly If only I could see her Oh, how happy I would be Where the blue of the night meets the gold the day someone waits for me thank you very much thank you so very much Johnny Holiday and thank you Mr. DeMille Dean and John Reynolds boys someone's got a birthday back here who is it I think Bob. it's Mr. Paul Lyons oh on the drum. Hey, that, he's a quick character. Happy birthday. And thank you very much, Mr. DeMille, for that very nice introduction. It's nice that we brought Conrad Montebank back to the Cicada Club. Fought him out. I said that as if there were a question mark at the end, but yes. I didn't mean it that way. It's like the guy at the airport. Are you on this plane? No, but, uh, and John Reynolds. John Reynolds, I swear you send me to seventh heaven the way you play that guitar. Isn't this man something else? This guy is top drawer. <clears throat> he is my Eddie Lang. He is incredible. I love this guy. He's something else. And say, Mr. Holiday, it's yes. been a couple of months since your last big show here at the Cicada Club. Oh, I know. I'm still getting hate mail. But it was, um, I botched uh, all of Vic Damone's tunes. But it was, a, no, it was a marvelous show. Uh, in spite of Adam Tunney's performance, and I really have to say, um, no, we had a great time that night. It was wonderful. And young Adam Tunney's right over there. He's a very talented young man, and it's nice to see you, Adam. That's all you get. He's not getting cut into a tune no matter what he offers me. Well, we've got quite a show lined up. What do you say we get started? I think we should. And you know, today, ladies and gentlemen, happens to be April 3rd. And now that uh, particular day doesn't really mean much to you, and it doesn't mean much to me either, for that matter. However, May 3rd does, because on May 3rd would be Uncle Bing's 108th birthday. And so I thought tonight, I believe it was Rosemary, and you and I were talking, and you came up to me, or I think your husband did, the other handsome fellow in the room, because there's only two of us, and uh, said something to me about doing a song called Please. And nobody else could sing this one, so we're gonna do two from the dustbin, these great songs that I... You know, it's a funny thing about the Cicada Club. Don't you wish all the women dressed like this all the time? I tell you, we got some gorgeous looking gals here tonight. Makes a few people want to wonder why. But anyway, no, we're gonna do a couple of songs. They're danceable and I hope you'll enjoy them. And here we go. Please lend your little ear to my please lend a ray of cheer to my please tell me that you love me too please let me hold you tight in my arms i could find a light in your charms every night my whole life through your eyes reveal that you have the soul of an angel white as snow But how long must I play the role of a gloomy Romeo? Please say you're not intending to tease Speed that happy ending and please Tell me that you love me too Help me up, John, I can't pucker. Your eyes reveal that you have the soul of an angel white as snow. But how long must I play the role of a gloomy Romeo? Please say you're not intending to tease. Speed that happy ending and please. 
please tell me that you love me too. Here's another song too from that period. I think you'll enjoy this one. Barbara Hutton hated it. It was a lucky April shower. It was a most convenient dawn. I found a million dollar baby in a five and ten cent store. The rain continued for an hour, right up to round three or four. And with a million dollar baby from the five and ten cent store, she was selling china. And when she made those eyes, I kept buying all that. Run into a shower Drop on by my cottage door And meet the million dollar baby From the five and ten cent store Selling China, and when she made those eyes, I kept buying China until the crowd got wise. Incidentally, if you should run into a shower, come on by my cottage door and meet the million dollar baby from the fire. Thank you very much. Yes, you don't hear those tunes that often. I'm still taking my adult education class on learning how to rap, and I'll bring my, my new act here probably next year. Ladies and gentlemen, before I move in with our program, I want to bring somebody up to the stage. As you know, uh, those of you that follow me or uh, have been in touch with me, you know I'm a big supporter of the USO. I'd like to bring up uh, Petty Officer Justin Smith. Justin, if you'd please come up to the stage. This young man, this young man uh, just returned uh, about a month or so ago from Iraq. And I first of all want to thank you for your service. Thank you very much. You served overseas how long? Uh, I was in Iraq for a year. A year. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, it's people like Justin that want, I think, that give us pause to remind us, each and every one of us, that leadership doesn't necessarily come from our state capitals or from Washington, D.C. It begins with you and I supporting organizations like the USO so that we can continue to send phone cards and care packages to these brave men and women who proudly serve our nation overseas and around the world is essential. Justin, I just want to say, I just want to tell you, I hope that you and your friends have a delightful evening. I invited Justin and his friends to come down as my guests tonight to show my thanks, but I also made a contribution online at usocares.org or at uso.org. You can donate as little as $10, $25, whatever you can. Please do what you can to help these fine people continue to serve our nation so that the lamp of liberty will continue to shine brightly where it needs to. And thank you again, Penny Officer. Thank you very much. Thank you, Justin. No, I have so much respect for people like Justin. I met Justin some years ago, and he's very involved with a, an organization I'm familiar with here in town. And, uh, when I knew that he was shipped overseas in the Anbar province, I thought, well, we've got to have him come in now that he's back home. So I'm awfully glad he's here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, you'll have to forgive me, but I've got to take a look at this because um, I received a note earlier 
that we were going to make a little change in the program. I believe it's uh, at first, I was worried that my first guest uh, was not going to be able to make it because she shot herself on television not that long ago. <laughs> but, but from all accounts, she's very much alive, and if Lux were still sponsoring my show, she would definitely be a Lux girl. Would you please welcome one of my favorite desperate housewives, Emily Burgle. so much, Mr. Holiday. Hey, I don't know how you expected me to follow that handsome boy from the Navy, though. Well, I'll tell you, he's over there, and I don't know about that table. They're all looking like a bunch of drunks to me, so you could probably <laughs> do pretty good. You know, he is Navy. I might stand a chance, then. Well, you know, Emily, I want to tell you something. I, you and I met at Mr. DeMille's annual 183rd birthday that was just here a few weeks ago, and i got to ask you something. Tell me, because I knew about you from your cabaret act, but you're doing television, you're doing all sorts of things, but tell us a little bit about uh, Kidding on the Square, because I think that's kind of important. I'd like to know more about that uh, particular program of yours. Uh, well, yes, I am alive and well on the television, actually, <laughs> contrary to popular report. I, I'm actually going to die on Desperate Housewives this evening, so if oh, everyone, everyone could say I'm a little so glad we're death getting, prayer This is practically me. awake. <laughs> At least that table it is. Uh, but you know, I, I, do, uh, I, do, I do TV for the arts and I do my cabaret show for the money. Oh, well, I, that's how it works, huh? Well, good for you, because yes, <laughs> there's people watching all over the world right now. I got some friends watching I know in Hawaii and in New York, and I think they're gonna get a real kick out of you. And have you selected a number that you'd like to sing for the populace tonight? Indeed I have. It's called We Just Couldn't Say Goodbye. Well, why do we have to? Why can't you just stick around? We do. In fact, you have to say goodbye to me so I can leave. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm going to go over here, and why don't you let me and you and I, Dean. All right, go. <laughs> we thought our love was over, that we were really through. I said I'd even love him. Goodbye. The chair and then the sofa, they broke right down and cried. The curtain started waving for me to come inside. I tell you confidentially, the tears were hard to hide. But we just couldn't say goodbye. The clock was striking 12 o'clock. It smiled on us below. With folded hands, it seemed to say. Him. And when I looked around, the room was singing love songs and dancing up and down. And now we're both so happy because at last we found we could say goodbye. People in love are funny, mighty hard to explain. One minute they quarrel, they're back together again. Take my case for instance, we had a little fun. Now we're back together. You love was over, we were really through. I said I didn't love him, we began to do. You can all believe me, sure intended to. We just couldn't say goodbye. The chair and on the sofa broke right down and cried. That curtain sat and waving me to come inside. I tell you truly, tears were hard to hide. We just couldn't say goodbye. The clock was striking 12, uh-huh, it smiled. Ooh, with golden hands and seem to say, we don't want to see you go. I went back and kissed him when I looked around. The room was singing love songs, dancing up and down. Now we're so happy, cause at last we found. We just couldn't say goodbye. We just couldn't say goodbye. Just because we couldn't say goodbye. Wonderful, wonderful, Emily. Um, thank you so much, Mr. Holliday. Yeah, no, Emily, thank you. you you're, you're wearing me out. My left lung just caved in. You're terrific. Uh, will you come back, please? Well, I might come back in another form. You'll oh, see. that's right, I know. Thank you so much, my dear. Thank you. Isn't she lovely? She also jumps. It's great. 
you know, we're very fortunate here tonight, ladies and gentlemen. We have a number of people I, I, in the audience that I'm, I, are friends of mine or people I've known or worked with, and I'd just like to point out a couple of them. A good friend of mine has a marvelous little business, Estate Sales Los Angeles. Sanford Cohen is right over here. Hello, Sandy. Thank you for coming. Uh, and I want to also acknowledge, ladies and gentlemen, it's always a thrill. You know, when we have uh, a celebrity or a legend in this room, it's always something we have to point out. And I don't think I need to say too much more than we have probably one of my favorite singers of the 21st and the 20th century, Miss Keeley Smith, ladies and gentlemen. She was, she remains in my heart the queen of the Casbah Bar. I will tell you, the Casbah Bar was her bar. And I remember when Mr. Sinatra, this, this pocket square was given to me by Mr. Sinatra many years ago when I was a young boy singer still hitting high notes, which I apparently can't do tonight. And he gave this to me. And I know that when I listen to his records and the duets he did with Keely Smith, I'm in awe. But anything she did to me was gold. So Keely, thank you for coming. Also in the room tonight, is a lady whose husband will become more relevant to you later. I just want to say hello to my dear friend, Linda Picardo, because she's such a lovely woman. She and I both know what to do with VO5. And uh, sitting next to her is Richard Halpern, Mr. Tin Pan Alley, ladies and gentlemen. So you see, not all the stars are up in the sky. They're here. Richard will be here, by the way, later on. He's got a show coming up, and we'll tell you about that in a bit. But first, I want to introduce one of my favorite girls, Marvelous singer, a lovely lady. Where is she? Miss Christine Nelson. Oh, there you are. Oh. I, I, Christine, I want to tell you something. If you have money to invest... You Who, are, me? Yeah, I'm, I, I, know, I want to know if you have money to invest, because I've got this new line of products, and I was wondering if you had maybe uh, 100, maybe... 50,000 to start. Oh, sure. Johnny Holiday Foundation Garments for Men and Women. And I think that looking at you tonight and looking at how I'm feeling, I'm feeling like King Farouk. I had the filet. But I'm wondering, uh, would you care to invest, though, in my new little property? We'll talk. Okay. Will you sing? I'll sing. What are you going to sing? I'm not sure yet. All right. Let me well, talk to these guys. Oh, you know, we just threw something together. Did you? Well, let's see yes. it, folks. Christine right. Nelson in the box. Thank you, my dear. Nobody but me Everybody wants my baby But my baby don't want nobody but me That's plain to see I am the secret to me And he is my loving man Knows how to do his duty Loves me like no other can That's why everybody loves my baby Thank you, dancers. 
Masters, Jumping and Bernie. Oh my, <laughs> Thank you, my love. My gosh, you're just filled with Tabasco. I mean, I'm gonna hold on. That was fantastic. Thank what? you, dear. Thank this, you, this band is incredible. You sound Thank wonderful. You. Thank you, Phyllis. Thank you, Christine. Thank and you, Christine. you sound Christine. gorgeous, Mr. Holiday. <laughs> Go away before I turn you into a prime rib. Uh, oh, goodness. I'm gonna say, Thank you so much. Isn't she lovely? As Bob Hope used to always say after every guest left the stage. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I mentioned Linda earlier. Recently, uh, a, a dear friend of mine who I happen to think is one of the finest all-around performers. He's one of the hardest working actors in town. And he's uh, somebody I, I tre have tremendous respect for because he married such a lovely lady. Would you please welcome my dear friend, Mr. Robert Picardo. Ah. Thank you, Bob. And Bob, I, it's marvelous to see you. Now, a lot of folks uh, always associate you with the, uh, the Star Trek uh, series that you were on and all the other things, but you just came back from Canada finishing a film, as I understand. Yes, uh, Johnny, I was up uh, shooting a holiday movie called Beethoven's Christmas Adventure, a dog movie. A dog movie? <laughs> yes, a dog movie. And it was in uh, Winnipeg, uh, which is north of uh, North Dakota. Yes, it's quite cold. Minus 40 degrees. That's very cold. Very, very cold indeed. Uh, fortunately, I was always happy to see the dog because like you, Johnny, he has a little cask of brandy around his neck. Ah, you know me too well. Oh, well, you, you're very kind. You've been behind where the waiters take care of me. But seriously, <laughs> I, I, I saw the uh, set list. And you're doing one of Uncle Bing's big, big hits, I understand. Um, yes, and I hope, uh, especially in this company, yes. that I do it justice. Well, everything I did earlier was totally botched, so you're welcome to take a whack at it. Here he goes, Robert Picardo doing... San Fernando Valley. He used to own it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I'm packing my grip, and I'm leaving today, because I'm taking a trip. California way I'm gonna settle down and never more and make the San Fernando Valley my home I'm forgetting my sins yes yes I'll be making new friends where the cattle land and the sunset in Cause I decided where yours truly really ought to be And it's the San Fernando Valley for me I think that I am safely stable She will be waiting when my lonely journey is done And kindly old Reverend Thomas Made us a promise, he will make the two of us one. So I'm hitting the trail to the cow country. You can forward my mail, care of our FD. I'm gonna settle down and never, never, never more roam and make the San Fernando Valley my home. She will be waiting when my lonely journey is done. And kindly old Reverend Thomas made us a promise he will make the two of us one. So I'm hitting the trail, overgrown with sage. You can forward my mail to my Facebook page. I'm gonna settle down and never, never, never more roam and make the San Fernando Valley my home.
Bob, they like you so much, we're going to have to hold you over. Hold me over? Well, you know, or do something like that. But I want to, I do want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very glad that Bob could make it because he did just recently return from Canada and I think it's really swell of you and your wife to come down here tonight. What are you going to do next? Because I'd like you to do another number. Uh, I would like to do uh, a, uh, an Andrew Sisters classic, okay. Hold Tight. Well, that's great because they're on next, so that's perfect. Go ahead. <laughs> Choo-choo to Broadway through Cincinnati Don't get a cue with the one, two, three Life is so, so fine On the solid side of the line Rip Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight, hold tight Furiyakasaki wants some seafood Mama Shrimps and rice They're very nice Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight, hold tight Furiyakasaki wants some seafood Mama Shrimps and nice, they're very nice. I like oysters, lobsters too. I like my tasty butterfish food. When I get home late at night, I get my favorite dish. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Booty, I guess I can want some seafood, mama. Shrimps and rice, they're very nice. Ba -da -ba -da 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 Oysters, lobsters too I like my tasty butterfish food When I come home late at night I get my favorite fish Fish! Hold tight, hold tight Hold tight, hold tight I want some seafood, mama Shrimpers and rice Oh, hold tight I'll see you in the next show, uh, next set, next, next set, set, next set. And yeah. you know up close, he really is the handsomest man in Hollywood. Uh, thanks to Forrest Lawn and to Pete in the prep department. Thank you, Pete. Ladies and gentlemen, it's always a thrill for me to get together with some girls who really do know how to sing. Here they are, that quixotic trio of torrent of talent and all that other stuff, the Lindy Sisters. Come on up, girls. Now I'm gonna... Now, you know, uh, I'm gonna, you, you know, you're, you're gonna do your number. Late, well, now, w which one of you, because I only have, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave. You're gonna do your number. That's right. But I wanna tell you folks, the Lindy sisters, you mentioned something to me about the victory. Polka. T no, 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 it's, uh, the caravan, uh, some kind of a thing you're doing that's coming up. Well, we're gonna be at the Hip Kitty next weekend on Saturday night. Oh, really? I'm sure you'll and do better than Adam Tunney. He's there, too, next yes, week. That's yes, that's true. We that's will. two I got him on. That's yes, true. right? But you're going to be there when? Saturday night. Saturday night. April in 9th. April 9th. In that, that's in Claremont. That's correct. This is the Lindy Sisters, and they're about to sing a song. What are you going to sing? We okay. are going to sing a song for you, just Johnny. For you, Johnny. Oh, my God. We learned a song just for you. Oh, well, I'm going to step aside and hang on tight. Stay close, Johnny.
really nice. Thank you so much, Lindy's. I, I have to say I enjoyed that very much. I think the room did it as well. You're, I haven't heard it done quite like that before, and it was marvelous. So thank you so much for learning your new tune. Thank you, Johnny. We learned it just for you. All right. Well, I'm, 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 I'm glad to hear that, and I'm very touched and flattered, and I turn blue, except that uh, I've got so much pancake number nine on, I can't. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lindy sisters and I had the pleasure some time ago of doing a number together that uh, struck gold some years ago. And I think it's time for all of us to uh, try to accentuate the positive. Yeah, that's and, right. And eliminate the negative. Absolutely. I'm just looking at the negative right now, but he's trying to figure out how to pay his bill. Anyway, oh. if Dean Morrow will help us out, why don't we do it together, girls? Come on, Dean. All right. Got to accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative, don't mess with Mr. In Between. You got to spread joy up to the maximum, bring gloom down to the minimum, have faith or pandemonium, liable to walk upon the scene. Jonah in the way, no way in the yard. What did we do just when everything looks so dark? And they say we better accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, do not mess with Mr. In Between. Do you hear me, ladies? I hope yeah. you do. We'll do you your part. There you go. Oh, listen to me, children, and you will hear about the eliminating of the negative and the accent on the positive. Gather round me, chillin' if you're willing, and sit tight while I start reviewing the attitude of do it right. You're gonna accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, and join to the affirmative. You'll mess with things are in between. You got to spread joy. Love the Bring gloom. Down to, to the, the minimum. minimum. Have faith. Pandemonium. Libel to walk up on the sea. To illustrate your Don't last you remark. <laughs> yes, Joe. Joe in the well. No one knew what they did. Did they do? West, when everything looks so dark. Help me out here. And 
they say we better accentuate the positive, even but in the negative. Latch on to the affirmative. Don't mess with Mr. In Between. No, don't mess with Mr. In Between. I don't, know, I don't know what happened. I, I'm sure it was my fault, but it was a lot of fun anyway. Oh, yes, Johnny, it was a lot of fun. It was, and you're going to come back, so... We are. All right, well, go and nibble on something, and I'll come mm, over and see you during salmon. the back break. <laughs> yes, have that. Salmon's salmon. always good. It's always good. Thank you. Lindy Sisters, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to be back. Can't never shake a good thing. Speaking of good things, I'd like to introduce right now a young lady who I've... Uh, Long enjoyed uh, her performances here at the Cicada Club. She was very kind to me some years ago. It's uh, uh, somebody I think you'll enjoy. You probably know who she is. She's one of my favorite singers. My gal pal, where is she? Ginger Polly, ladies and gentlemen. Ginger Polly, here she is. Well, here we are. We finally got up on the same stage at the same finally, time. Yes, and I'm finally. not leaving and you're not going anywhere. Well, I am going to leave. What are you going to... Tell me something, doesn't Ginger look lovely tonight? I must say, this is a very, very Thank you, Johnny. lovely outfit. This one? Okay. He wants me over here. This is Mr. Ross. He takes care of all Thank the sound. You, yes. So, uh, listen, Ginger, I want to tell you something. I'm, I'm really thrilled to have you here, and I wanted to know uh, what particular tune have you chosen to sing for us tonight? I'm going to sing You Made Me Love You. You Made Me Love You. But not in the traditional sense that you were thinking. You're going to stay dressed then on this particular I performance. Will. Oh, how nice. Ginger's an exotic dancer in Northern California. Johnny, stop. No, I'm sorry. Johnny, but you, I bought that bottle of champagne thinking you'd spend some time with me. Excuse me.
to tell you Ginger, you really put a little pepper in that one, I must oh, thank say. Thank you, Mr. Holiday. You got you got Gene Krupa back here. That's gonna beat the hell out of those oh, skins, I, I tell you. Yes. I'm glad you stayed dressed though, because um, I was getting a little comfortable back there. Yeah, thank darling. you, Ginger. I'll Maybe I'll bring you back, huh? Thank Come back. You. Mm. Thank, you, thank you so much, sweetheart. Thank you very much, Ginger Polly, ladies and gentlemen. All you need now is Ted Mack and the old gold cigarette tap dancers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a real thrill for me tonight to introduce to you a voice you may have heard before, but I don't think you've heard it quite like this. You see, some years ago here, Mr. DeMille was great enough to bring the Jive Aces in. They're a marvelous band in the UK, and they perform fabulously. In fact, Alex uh, Douglas today sent me an email and s sent his best wishes to Keeley and to Tony. And that's who I'm going to invite up right now. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce to you the marvelous, wonderful Tony Elizabeth Prima. Come on up, sweetie. Comfortable, Tony. You know, comfort's kind of important, which is why I'm selling foundation garments outside by the valet. But honestly, I'm so thrilled to have you here because I've heard you sing, but you've selected some songs tonight that just really touch me. These are the kind of songs that remind me of razor blades and Valium and all the happiness that comes with living alone. Thank you so very much. <laughs> no, it's true. I mean, I, I, I haven't been happy since 1979, you know? <laughs> I was working the Las Vegas Hilton, making 30 bucks a week. It was good life. But my dear, I'm so happy that you're here, and I know you and Dean got together. You can't we laugh did. at me. Did, did you know that I have 437 chinchillas on the roof electrifying this building on treadmills? No. I'll tell you about that during the band break. But I'd love it if you'd sing that song that I saw on Dean's set list. What is the song you've selected? I'm so <laughs> Get close to that mic. It'll never be, it'll okay. be your best friend in a moment. I'm actually, <laughs> if I can stop <laughs> laughing. <laughs> um, this like is going to be, odd. I'll Walk Alone. Oh. Uh, the Louis Prima Big Band had a very a major oh. hit with it. Uh, it was Lily and Carol's song in the war years, and I always like to sing this for her. Well, then take it but away. Dean's it got a nice you. arrangement for you, and okay. I'm going to go over here and watch you. Okay. Thank you, my watch dear. Watch me away. Okay, I'm going to be right here. <laughs> Send your love and your kisses 
I don't know if I'm gonna do well. I don't feel good. Oh my God, you're terrific. You made this, I felt like I was all alone in a small little room dancing with Rosemary over there. Oh. You've got a lovely, intimate style. I like it very much. Thank Can you. you sing another song for us, please? Yes. <laughs> all right, good. Let's listen to Tony Elizabeth Bremish. She'll do another number for us. We're gonna sing. Um, it's called, When Your Lover Has Gone. Yes, Mom, I am having the nerve to try this. When Your Lover Has Gone. <laughs> See what I said? Valium razor blades. Here we go. Here we go. say that was one of the best numbers I've ever heard here at the Cicada Club. That, no, I mean it. I do. I wasn't, that's so great. And what a wonderful thing that you have your own voice, your mother has her voice, and you attack that song with so much feeling. I love it. I love the way you attack that lyric. It was fantastic. And that arrangement, I don't know where you got that, but it's perfect. Is that from Dean Mora? Oh my gosh, Dean, he's expensive, isn't he? 
Thank you so much, Tony. And now the band's going to play a number for the dancers, and we'll be back in just a few minutes. Before we end this set, I thought I would simmer down a little bit and sing you an old favorite. And I think I got my friend John Reynolds to accompany me very nicely. So don't leave the dance floor. We're gonna do a um, very pretty old song, Somebody Loves Me. Somebody loves me, I wonder who. I wonder who she can be Somebody loves me I wish I knew Who can she be worry me For every girl that passes me I shout Hey maybe you were me to be my loving baby Somebody loves me I wonder who Maybe it's you
Everybody loves me I wonder who I wonder who she can be Somebody loves me I wish I knew Who can she be? Worry me For every girl that passes me I shout hey You were meant to be my baby Somebody loves me I wonder who Maybe it's you Yes, sir Yes, sir Thank you, we're going to take a small break We'll be back in 30 minutes Go get cocktails upstairs Back at 9.30 Johnny Holiday, ladies and gentlemen, the handsomest man in the world. And of course, keep that applause going for Mr. Dean Moore and his fabulous orchestra. This is your old pal Conrad Montebank here saying hello to all of our friends watching this broadcast from around the world. And to let you know that our next night at the Cicada Club will be on Sunday, April 10th, when Max Voldemill proudly presents Janet Klein and her Parlor Boys. <laughs> 